Eight-year vet, plays for the Charlotte Hornets right now. Here he is, Davis Bertans, rocking the sweet-ass beard. Um, <laughs> Lou, you want to solve the mystery before yeah. we can move on? What's going on here? That's not yeah. a library, Lou. <laughs> yeah, that, he's not in the library. <laughs> Are you an avid reader, though? <laughs> Uh, actually, no, I probably should have gone with a different book. <laughs> Big book on tape, guys. You, I mean, you look like a genius right now. you got so many books, although they do look like they could be children's books. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, Davis, but I like this for you. Um, look, you guys played the, uh, the best team in the league last night, and yet here you are. I only bring that up to point out Chandler would have called in sick and played golf all day. We appreciate your professionalism. Um, but the, we just heard your nickname in that clip, Latvian Laser. A... Do you love that? And B, who gave it to you? Uh, first of all, I definitely love it. You know, uh, uh, it was given to me, I guess, by the the Spurs announcers. Uh, Bill Land. And, yeah. Nice. And my first year already, and uh, it kind of stuck after that. And I would say, I'm not gonna say it's the best nickname in the league, but I would say one of the the top ten probably, if it would go through. Shut up, Bill. There you go. Davis, I, I'm reading this for the first time here. Is it true you only have four and a half Us. fingers on your shooting hand? Whoa! Uh, how? First of all, I need a backstory on that, and how the hell are you still such a great shooter with, uh, you know, that situation on your hand? Wow. Well, the the, the very short version is uh, I was like 12, 13 years old. Uh, grandfather needed wood for heating. Uh, and his play. we come from a really small town, like 3,000 people. Like, like everybody knows everybody by their first names. And uh, yeah, needed heating. And uh, it was me, my brother, and my dad were cutting wood. And uh, unfortunately, and the short story is just I ended up on the wrong end. And uh, it started okay. raining, started rushing, and it kind of got on there. But I still, like, even though, you know, it's a little bit of a lucky situation. Uh, I was lucky that I didn't lose also the middle finger because I cut a nail nail off of that as well, that one as well. Wow. Is that the fi is that the finger for a wedding band? That's smart. Well done. No. Uh, well. Oh no, it's the other uh, hand. I wear it on. Wait. Oh, you, know, you okay? You did it right. Had you, you did it played right. basketball yet before this happened? And you had 13? to like. So you did you have to like, uh, yeah. adjust how yeah, you were was shooting? Me, me and my brother were basically born in a basketball gym. So <laughs> wow. I was playing the basketball since I remember myself. So. You know, at that point, my dad was the one that was like, since he played and coached and did all of that, like he was the one. All oh, basketball is over. You know, I was like, I didn't even think about it. Wow. That's and crazy. then, Dad, calm down. That's yeah. crazy. But then, at, at the end, it takes about as much as a broken finger, so it's not that bad. Yeah. Could be worse. I suppose. Davis, you um, you started this season with OKC before being traded at the deadline over to Charlotte. Um, what was it like building with those young guys? And did you see the potential of this team um, possibly being uh, who they are now? Uh, definitely. You know, coming in, didn't really know much to expect. You know, a young team, uh, you know, during the season, they didn't really win much before uh, we get traded. We haven't done much of winning since the trade as well, but I think it's improved a little bit. But, uh yeah, I didn't, I didn't know what to expect much, but uh, all these young guys, you know, they, they work their butts off every single day. And uh, a guy like Miles, didn't know him before. And I was really, really pleasantly surprised. Uh, great guy. Uh, he He's really, really working hard. I, I, I can't say much else about that. Yeah. And the same thing with Brandon, you know, he's a rookie, but he can, he can hoop. And, you know, if he listens to the older guys, a little bit more. Uh, we, we can help him a little bit with the other stuff. You know, the basketball part is all great. I, I won't get you in trouble with the fan base down there in Charlotte, but <laughs> but you got to admit you were a little pissed <laughs> being, being traded from OKC to Charlotte. What was that adjustment like? Uh, you know, that's that's a the stick with both with, with two ends. You know, and one thing is uh, going to a team from uh, from one that's aspiring to win a championship this season and playing really great. But you know, how far at the end of the bench I was. Uh, the other side is coming here to Charlotte and getting to play basketball, you know. Uh, I don't know, you, Lou, not so much probably, but Chandler at one point, you know, with all the injuries, like, you know how it is not to play and just be around the mm -hmm. team and wanting to be on the court. It's, it's, it's really tough, so I'm just happy to play basketball again. And uh, the longer, longer off season. You got to look on the bright side, Davis. No, there it is. Yeah. They're always finding the bright side, Chandler P. Yeah, I see that. Uh, <laughs> Light at the end of the tunnel. There's always something there. All right, right you, re you recently took... The shot to the nose there. So now you got the, the face mask, the Batman, all of it all. 
What is it like playing with that thing on? Do you feel it? Do you ignore it? What is it? You know, for the for the shooting part, it's not a full problem. You know, you see the hoop easily, but uh, I think the problem is since I'm not that good of a ball handler, if I got to put it on the floor, if I can't see, like it just it just feels like I can't see nothing below, and and you know that's gonna help my improve my ball handling, but it's also a little bit tougher for me. I guess yeah, it's like having blinders on. You can't really see anything. Um, a few nights ago, the the Hornets broadcasters were discussing your level of toughness. Here they are. With a mask for the first time this season, he got hit in the schnoz on Wednesday against Cleveland. He didn't even realize it because he continued to play. That's how tough he is. Tougher than woodpecker lips, apparently. He is. My what? Okay. What? <laughs> yeah, let's, let's put a... Lips. By the way, this announcer is a class. Are you he tougher says... than woodpecker lips, Davis? <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, well, I guess uh, woodpecker lips, well, beak, more likely. Yeah. <laughs> so they just... that's pretty tough, right? It yeah. doesn't really get much tougher than that. I've yeah. never heard that saying. But, but actually, I, I did realize during the game that I probably broke it because it cracked and uh, I felt like a little, like, something on the side. So I just I just walked over. Like They, they asked me if I want to go check it in the back. I was like, well, like, I can breathe, so it's fine. <laughs> I mean, looking at you, it doesn't look like anything. Yeah. Like at all. Cool. Yeah, like, it's a little bit crooked. Like, usually it's, like, you know, I'm not the best-looking guy, but usually I look a little <laughs> bit better. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like they look great. Davis, a few years ago, we've seen a lot of players. They got upset with uh, Ronnie over there in 2K with about their <laughs> uh, their their player rating. Uh, have you ever talked to him about that? And has it since changed now that you're on the floor a little bit more? Or he's still 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 hating. I really couldn't care less, to be honest. <laughs> I, I play FIFA most of the time, so I'm good. <laughs> Wait, do you guys really care about that? Like Absolutely. That's, that's like so you a, check that's like it a and thing. then complain. Yeah, because somebody's literally telling you you suck sometimes. Someone, by the way, who's never like, played a sport hooped. in his life. Yeah, yeah, that's he's never hooped before, never played, and he's like, are you like, only a... I'll, I'll, I'll listen to somebody that comes up to me that says that he made 53s in a row, and then I'll, I'll, right. I'll maybe listen to him. There right. you go. <laughs> Not this. There you <laughs> go. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay, no, but shout I out. I ain't going that far. Shout out to Ruddy. Taylor took it to a bad place. Um, talking about My shooting, ranking wasn't the highest it should have been, too. <laughs> was it not No, good? I'm kidding. I, don't I mean, know. I have no idea what it is. <laughs> um, the shooting, you got it. But every once in a while, you'll throw it down, and people seem to still be shocked online when this happens. Uh, even teammates seem to be shocked, which I find to be a little bit insulting. Uh, yeah. <laughs> look at what It doesn't Bruce happen too often. Look, 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 look at him. <laughs> Why are they still surprised? I mean, is this insulting because to you? Because when you're the stiff old white guy yeah. on the team, they, everyone gets out of their chair when you slap glass on a layup, He's let alone dunk. He's Like, what? Of course he can dunk. Davis, does this bother well, you that what, people are that? shocked? And is this uh, well, the last time you dunk? Because I'm so in this often, clip. Like, not so much. <laughs> <laughs> is this the last time you dunked the basketball? <laughs> It, no, no, no. That, was, that was like four years. I actually got a dunk this year also. All right, there two. you go. I was I in that clip. I think I got two of them. Yeah, oh, and do you feel, I mean, Chandler likes to point out. Oh, I remember towards the end of my career when I dunked in Memphis, the, they went nuts. Oh, you would yeah. think, the world, like, it's because, you know, I, don't, I didn't do it often anymore, and I've been hurt, and you know what I mean? So people get extremely hyped. I think you should do it like, more. They get, no, no, they get hyped if I dunk on somebody. That's, that's where, where everybody goes yeah. crazy. If I do it by myself, I'm, I'm 6 10, like, I should be able to do it even, you know, close to retirement. <laughs> Yeah, point. I think people get excited for y'all dunking for a different reason than they were getting excited. It's because we're white. Because it's their white, Lou. Oh, God. Duh. I get to bring up race into everything. Uh, Davis, <laughs> you came into the NBA as an international prospect from Latvia, obviously, and you were drafted in 2011, but you didn't play in the NBA until 2016. Oh, so my. How did that time playing overseas prepare you for when you got to the league? Uh, since I had a really, really great, but uh, he was also very crazy you know really well-known coach uh, Serbian coach Durko Vyoshevic and uh, those were two seasons where I had to miss 10 months in the middle with the ACL injury which I got my first full year there uh, in the last game of the final series and then it was the ACL rehab but yeah with that coach that was what probably prepared me the most for whatever challenges I might have coming along and uh you know, six hours, seven hours a day of practice. That's split in two practices usually. And uh, uh, some of those, well, me and uh, Bogdan Bogdanovic, we couldn't leave the gym after the morning shoot rounds until we made 10 in a row coming off screens. And then he would just come up with like some stuff like, you know, wearing gloves, 
taping the dominant eye shot like it was it was ridiculous you know having a, another coach with a broom just contesting extremely high <laughs> and i think i think going through all that uh with him being you know serbians they like to cuss and uh, and really really get into like personal oh, insults wow. and, and, and all that is like at the end of the day it's like if, if a coach now an nba cusses me out like you know i'll take the message but it just really does not phase me even for a little bit that's like the perfect prep because then in 2016 you go to the Spurs and pop. So it's like, could you be better prepared? You get there, you've got international stars, um, Manu, Tony Parker. Did that sort of, I don't know, make the path seem a lot easier as far as having guys from around the world that you could sort of learn from and talk to? Definitely. You know, now, now there's so many international players on every single team. But uh, back then, you know, having... San Antonio is a team that's like a nice transition from European basketball to the NBA. Uh, it definitely made it much, much easier. And, you know, every single guy that plays an important role, like they come in from kind of internationally. You know, Mano played in Europe. Tony grew up there. Uh, then Patty, who's from Australia, you know, you know, he came to college. You know, it's just like a mix of every every part of the world. Uh, it, it made it so much easier just to adjust and uh and then playing the type of basketball that they played, moving the ball all the time. Uh, everybody gets a touch. Nobody cares who's finishing the play at the end. It, it was a really, really easy transition. Uh, do you have any pop stories that you can share? I mean, I know some of them are not shareable. Uh, <laughs> did he like you? This, uh, I think I think he did. <laughs> for, mo for most part, you know. Uh, except for making some bad mistakes on defensive end sometimes, you know. And then you get in a doghouse in, in the first few years and, and, and uh, don't step on the court for a little while after that. But, uh, like, it's, it's just him yelling at every single guy if they mess it up. doesn't matter if it's Tony or it's Manu or if it's me. or uh, it, Right now it could be a two-way. Like, he does not care. Like, he's going to – he wants the team play a certain way. If you don't do it, he's going to keep you responsible regardless if you're – Jersey's going to be in the rafters in like three years after that. I like that. But you probably, you That's respect that be, yeah. As, yeah, as a yeah. player. You're not just going oh, definitely. I respect yeah. that. And, uh, you know, in, in a way right now, Cliff is the same way. Uh, I kind of love that old school type of coaching. You know, that's that's what I grew up with. And and I feel comfortable with that kind of environment where the coach is just holding every single guy responsible the same way. Thomas, my last question for you is Adam Silver recently has said that he may go to a format where he goes USA versus the world. And looking at the list of these international players, obviously you're well aware, Jokic, Donkic, SGA, Giannis, Joel, Wimby, although we got Joel this on uh, Team yeah, USA. Yeah. Um, who, who, how cool would that be? Who wins that game? Would you be stoked to possibly play in that game? Uh, I think there's a little bit better players than me <laughs> to, to make that world team. I uh, would love to, of course, but uh, I don't know. If, if that was the All-Star game format, I think uh, everybody would try a little bit harder to win just to be able to talk a lot of smack, you know, and, and I feel that would make it really competitive. I hate it, by the way. I'm but, all for that. No, look, Anything other than what they're doing now for the All-Star game. just made the argument even more for us to have this happen. Quite possibly, but you also it's also international players that don't care about the All-Star game as well as the USA players. And no, I, world I just think it's, I think it's divisive. Basketball has brought so many people together. <laughs> Save that for the Olympics, not inside <laughs> of the NBA. That's my opinion. He's being soft, Davis. I'm so sorry about that. I'm a soft guy. We, everything's I'm divisive. Sensitive. We appreciate the time. Uh, go read a bunch of books behind you. Uh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'll start from that side. Yeah, yeah, just start over there and go down. <laughs> Thank you. Um, we'll take a appreciate quick break. It.